All right, guys, this is part two of the reviewing all the Excel, um, the Excel Racers card game series. So we did Excel Chargers last, uh, last video, so now we're gonna be doing mods. And as you can see, there are a bunch of mods. And I actually have so many that they don't even fit all the way on the screen. So let's get started. This is a beautiful set of cards. Uh, the art on these are spectacular, if I do say so. Uh, so the first card we have is Traction Control. This is a great image of Power Rage, and <laughs> I guess you could just take a guess at what this other card is behind him, but he definitely, um, definitely an advantage here. It looks, it's really cool, um, kind of like how they cut him in half, <laughs> kind of like in the movie. Um, but he's just great looking card and everything like that, and just the, the art on it is really nice, so definitely cool. Next card we have is Spike Tires. Um, I would like to know what you guys think. I do not know what this car is. I've looked at this for a long time and I cannot tell what it is. Uh, cool card though, you can definitely tell it's a Teku. I mean, that's you have a one out of nine guess, um, but cool card nonetheless. Uh, definitely, uh, I like the, um, the motion in the background. Uh, you kind of see how fast it's going and just tearing through the, the ground with the spike tires. So that's cool. Next up is uh, Arrow Package. This used to be one of my favorite cards. Probably when I first started collecting <laughs> as a kid, um, I really liked this card, the art in this card. Um, really interesting silencer. Um, I've heard so many people say this is Technetium, but this is so, like, it's such a long car. I just don't think it could be Technetium. Um, yeah, I have no idea, but really cool um, art on it. I like the angle of it's going down and just um, the light shining on it is really cool. Uh, Active Camouflage is next. This is a really cool card. Um, I would like to see, I don't know what realm this is that they're in or if they're in like a factory or something, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. And this is an interesting card or car as well, because I think that I mean, my best guess would be. Man, I don't even know. I was going to. Oh, you know what? No, nope, it's Cufflight. I just noticed the the line going down the middle. That's Cufflight. Interesting, though. <laughs> Took me a minute to figure that out. Next, we have is Rocket Socket Hyperpod. This is a really cool card. I love the art on this. Uh, the colors are spot on. The ground around it, the like the the light dust ground really complements these colors. I love Rolling Thunder in there. Uh, really, really cool card. I just think this is such a like a beautiful card. Next is Mega Base Box, um, another common card that a lot of people can pull from pretty much any pack or just looking through a shoe box and looking through your old your old like accelerator stuff. You'll probably find this card. It's pretty common. Um, I love Baseline with Technetium right there and definitely blowing him away with his music. So really, really cool. And I like the, oops, I like the, um, just the, the warpness of the, the art that the music's doing. It's really cool. Next we have is Sweepers. Man, this is a, I don't remember my card being in this bad of condition, but anyway, uh, cool card. Uh, this is a really interesting angle for a sweeper. Um, definitely doesn't really look like, I mean, it looks like a sweeper, but it doesn't really look like the one from the movies. Uh, Anthracite down there looks like a rocket. He's going super fast. Um, we're trying to beat this thing. Uh, cool card. Um, definitely doesn't really look like a sweeper, though. I will say that. Next is Dual Driller Hyperpod. This is really cool. Um, I really like how they made Synchro. Synchro definitely doesn't look like Synchro in this in this card art, but I mean, it's enough, it's good enough to know that it is Synchro, but it just, it's a little bit off, but still cool. And I like the Hyperpod as well. Poly Alloy Wheels. This is an interesting card. Not really much to it, except uh, you can definitely tell it's a silencer just by that side art. Uh, still a pretty cool card though. Uh, Asphalt Anchor. This has one of my favorite models, Jackhammer, in it. Um, <laughs> has his anchor in there. So definitely, I'm glad that they they used his car for this card, just because it makes sense. 
some of the art in these cards, they, they use cars or they use stuff that doesn't make sense with the card. But this definitely makes sense because that's definitely his um, his anchor. So definitely cool. And Grappler Claw is next. Uh, this is interesting. Um, you really only see Grappler Claw used by very few people. Um, in World Race, you saw it a lot by like Vert and and Marky, but uh, in, in Acceleracers, um, Vert used it to try to save Kadeem. Um, Mark Wild tried to use it to save his life, which he did. Um, well, I guess uh, I guess you do see it a lot in Acceleracers because R even RDL one uh, tells one of his drones to hook onto Kadeem. Uh, yeah, cool card though. I've never seen a silencer use it though, so that's what's interesting. Next is Hyper Beams. This is a cool card just because I love Jackhammer, as I said before. Uh, really cool card. Uh, the art in this is really cool as well. Camo Skin. This is a cool card. I, I really like the motion graphics of this card, and I like how you can just barely see high voltage there. Uh, also, definitely an interesting interpretation of high voltage as well. It's kind of rounded off. It's really, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. Pulse Emitter. Uh, it took me a while to find this card. This was definitely uncommon for me to find. I definitely couldn't find this card for a long time. You got Excelium there using the, um, I guess it's just kind of like Hyper Beams, but uh, yeah, it's just using a light, so that's pretty cool. Oh, it's, it's the silencer technology, duh. That's, <laughs> uh, that's what they use in the movies. First foil, uh, Nitrox 3. I have a video talking about all the foils for um, all 25 foils in the card set, so I'm just gonna briefly go over this. Definitely a beautiful card. Spoiler, this is um, Power Rage. Um, in interesting art on it, kinda looks um, like a weird Power Rage, but uh, still cool, still cool art on it. Another one that took me a little bit of time to find, Gyro Stabilizer, um, RD03 on that, I believe. Um, this was definitely one of the last cards I got. I couldn't find this card for a long time. Uh, Carpoon Hyperpod, the art on this is so cool. I love Iridium in this and I love the Hyperpod. I wish they could have seen this in the movies. Uh, but yeah, the art on this is, is really, really nice. I like the motion and the card they used and just, um, yeah, everything about it looks really cool. Really like that. Next up is Slam Ram Hyperpod. This is used by, um, pretty much exclusively by RDL1. Um, his car kind of transforms into it. So it's kind of funny. I, I think that's my, I think that's RD02 in there, but, um, there's another drone that's kind of not with the drone set. Um, it, the car name model is a whip creamer, I believe. And it comes in a, um, if you buy this hyperpod as a toy, it came with this car. So that's kind of what it looks like, which is interesting, but I think it's probably RD02. Next up is a uh, second wind O2 tank. This is a really cool card. I like the distance you can see in this card. Just, uh, it's really cool with synchro on there. Definitely a cool card. Wish we could have seen that realm too. I wonder what realm that is. This is one of the first cards I actually ever got, uh, Vector Thrust. This is actually probably from when I was a kid. Um, this is a really cool card. I really like how you can just see it happening, even though it's a still image. It's really cool because you can see him going around that turn. You can see this car crashing right above him. Really cool card on that. And I like Riveted and the art on this. Second foil is Armored Plow. Really cool picture on that. Definitely an uncommon one right here. Uh, Suspension Enhancers, also a really, really good card for the game. I'll kind of read this real quick. A magnetic pulse flings cars off the track. Send one opposing vehicle back one realm, discarding everything but mods to its junk pile. If the vehicle is in the first realm, it returns to its owner's hand after discarding all its equipped cards to the junk pile. That is an overpowered card, if I do say so. I mean, that I would definitely have this in my deck if I was playing the game. 
Next one is Strato Thruster, third foil in the set. Again, really wish we could have seen that hyperpod in the movies. Very, very cool. Four wheel steering. This is a really cool card because I really love carbide. And I. this would have been really cool to see in the movies, just seeing that silencer technology with the wheels and everything. Definitely a cool card. I like the art on it a lot. Very common card balance box. I mean, this is, I've, th well, actually, it might not be common to pull in a three pack. I think this definitely comes in the starter kit. Um, I think there's two of them comes in the starter kit. And I think you can pull these in 15 card blisters if I'm not mistaken. Uh, cool art on this nonetheless. I really like um, the car that they chose. I think that I'm pretty sure that that's Covlight on there. Kind of hard to tell from the bottom, but a really cool like image of uh, the, like, the round with the car on the side and kind of like hanging off. It's pretty cool. Uh, engine Elixir. This is just kind of a cool card. Not really much to say about it, but definitely cool. The green in there. Feather Frame. This is the fourth uh, hollow of the set. I stayed in the video. I really like this card. Just, it's beautiful. Racing Slicks. There's a, a Rolling Thunder, and uh, I think that that's Baseline. It's a really really interesting version of baseline if that's what it is <laughs> but definitely a cool card and then the last foil of the set is shell skin really cool art on that spy eye with battle spec on here um pretty fitting that they use kurt um you know spy eye or eye in the sky is what they used in the um for the street breed team in the world race so that's pretty cool Air Refresher, again, one of those cards you really don't need to talk much about, but it's still pretty cool when you put them all together. Uh, Mega Charger, this is an interesting one. I think that's Excellium on the front right there. Um, really cool, like the motion of this card, kind of like like slinging the dirt over there. Pretty cool. And the, the scenery as well is really nice. Uh, Hardened Underbelly, this is a really cool card with Riveted on there. Uh, just really like, I really like this angle seeing from below like that. It's really cool. Almost to the end here. A Wheel Shield, kind of an interesting one. Definitely never saw that in the movies. Dragon Torch, this is a really cool card. I really like the art in this one a lot. Um, Rolling Thunder on there, one of my favorite models. Just pretty much caught in a blaze of fire. It's really cool. I really like the, the art on the car as well. This is, I really wish Rolling Thunder kind of looked like this, kind of like uh, flatter. Really cool. Diffusion Glass, this is an interesting one, just seeing all the colors on the windshield and everything with um, this type of vehicle. Interesting card. And the last card is Tweak Box. Uh, again, not one of those ones you really need to talk much about, but interesting art in it. Definitely a good card for the card game. So that's what I can say about that. So that's the last card. So yeah, that's all the mods in the set. There are a lot of mods. There are five, um, five hollows and I think almost 40 cards in the set. So definitely a harder one, to, uh, harder set to find. Um, as far as hardest cards to find besides the hollows, I definitely would say um, Suspension Enhancer. This is a definitely a harder card to pull. It's probably like an eight or $10 card if I'm being honest. Uh, as far as hollows go, I think probably the hardest one, I you know, if you would have asked me two months ago, I would have said Nitrox 3, but I've actually um, bought this card on eBay. I've actually pulled this card as well and I've been seeing a lot more listings for it on eBay and such. So I think that's become more of a, a common hollow. I'd probably say now, maybe Strato Thruster, just cause I haven't seen many people pull this. I definitely don't see this card for like listed anywhere. So probably that. 
As far as completing this set, I definitely would say, because of all the hollows, probably four out of five, as far as, far as difficulty in finding them. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, that was the mods. Uh, I think we'll be taking a look at the hazards next, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.